So this tank here is basically like a Ferrari without an engine. It's probably one of the most pimped up, beautiful, awesome freshwater fish tanks that you'll ever see. It's only that at the moment, it's had a series of issues. And the series of issues are basically fueled by the fact that there's just not enough biological media for all these big fish. So at the moment, there's a little bit of biological media there. So that's a great filter media, but there's just not enough of it. I'd like to fill up that section there with biological filter media. And then if we have got lots of biological filter media, that means that we can grow lots of good bacteria. The lots of good bacteria can make sure that we're not getting ammonia, nitrite, and even nitrate. Um, it will also help to ensure that our redox potential is nice and good and that the health of our animals is awesome. And the other thing that I will want to do is cut the bottom out of the filter socks because filter socks really need to be cleaned probably twice a week and nearly nobody cleans filter socks twice a week otherwise they just fill up with crap by just putting some poly filter and also a little bit of activated carbon. The reason why I want the activated carbon is it'll help to remove the tannins that are naturally produced by the driftwood. So by just cutting out the bottom of the filter socks and putting alternative media in the filter socks, then we should drastically be able to um, decrease the amount of required maintenance on this tank. The other thing is that the fish are very underfed. You can see that they're quite skinny. There's a ridge along the bottom of the um, salmon cats. The Oscars are uh, visibly skinny. And the fish have been purposely not fed because of the issues that have been from the water quality. And those issues for the water quality will be easily um, rectified by just increasing the amount of biological media that's in there. Because up until now, there just hasn't been enough biological media for this tank. So the water quality has been very disappointing. But by increasing the biological filter media, by filling that up with marine pure, then soon enough the bacteria will grow in that media and you have to stock as many fish as you want in this tank and you can feed them properly. Now feeding is probably been the saving grace of these fish because not only have they limited their feeding when they've had issues, which is great, but the quality of the fish food they've been feeding is basically half the battle. And because it's been getting really good quality fish food, the quality of these fish is actually really quite good considering that tank has had a series of water quality issues due to not enough biological media and considering the fish really aren't getting enough food um considering all that the quality of the fish is actually really quite good and the fish look in very good spirits so um quality of food makes a is a really a make or break So the other comment with this tank too is because the sand is very fine, this tank would be a real candidate for old tank syndrome. So what I'm going to recommend with this tank is some, you get some geos, some geophagus species, and they're going to dig in the sand and make sure the sand's um, ruffled over. Because if this sand is allowed to sit for too long, then the oxygen is not able to penetrate this sand because it's so fine. And then underneath the sand you're going to form anoxic bacteria and that anoxic bacteria is slowly going to discharge hydrogen sulfide which is sort of the root of um, old tank syndrome and if disturbed um, can actually release enough poison to kill your fish so getting some geos to stir it up is going to help the other thing was a really good idea just for general maintenance and for security as far as um, um, anaerobic bac anoxic bacteria is concerned is to add a bit of aquarium detox and aquarium detox is a blend of bacteria from mud and that's incompatible with denitri with anoxic zones so this aquarium detox not only will help to assimilate all of the solid waste in the um, system it'll help to keep the filter clean it'll just generally help this system but it will also protect the aquarium against any possible release of hydrogen sulfide so just giving it a dose every three months of aquarium detox something that I'm going to highly advise. So once we fix the water quality, the next thing we'll do is um, up the food. So I basically want to feed the fish about five times a week, what they can eat in 30 seconds. And um, you can't go wrong with this stuff. 
but we want to slowly fill the bellies of these fish out. We don't want them fat, but we definitely don't want sunken bellies either. We just want to see nice little healthy bellies on these fish, and then there'll be no looking back for this tank. Super easy fix.